So in South Carolina this week, a police officer lost his job for doing his job by uh, subduing an unruly student in a classroom. Now, the spin is, is that she had her phone out, she didn't want to put her phone away, whatever. I can guarantee you, as a teacher, this wasn't the first time this has happened, second, third, fourth, I guarantee it. This is no innocent little lamb. And when you have one student, just one, in a classroom, disrupting the class, making life hell for the teacher and the other students, it is impossible for other students to learn. Now, I do agree. The cop went too far, but I don't think he should have lost his job over it. I think it's high time we start addressing the root causes of all this, the disrespect of teachers, this Black Lives Matter movement, this uh, perpetual chip on your shoulder against everybody that's not like yourself. It's got to stop. We've got to address the culture. First of all, let me say that the cop was justified in being terminated, but they should go further. I think the district attorney's office should indict him for assaulting that child. Miss Box, nobody supports a disruptive student in a classroom because it stops other kids from learning. But what I do have a problem with is men should never deal and handle a woman like the way that cop handled that little girl. To turn that desk over the way he did, grab her around her neck, then grab that child and throw her across the room, that is unbecoming of a man with decent character and conduct. That's unbecoming of the conduct of a police officer. They, they should have got a school counselor, maybe a therapist on counselor, a, a therapist on campus with a school counselor, and a mental health officer to come to the school and deal with that child. We don't know what was going on with that kid, but no kid should be disruptive in the learning environment. Now, for you to say that we need to deal with the culture of black kids in school, School. Let's deal with the culture of these crazy, fanatic white boys who go in schools with guns and shoot and kill everybody. Let me finish. I'm gonna Hold on. Hold on. Wait a that? minute. Wait a minute. Columbine, killing the kids at the elementary school, the shootings in other cities across America have all been crazy little white boys okay. shooting up innocent okay. people. So can let's we, study that we culture. We have the black culture, unfortunately, which has been run, the, the black community has been run by Democrats for the last 60 years and has destroyed the black family destroyed initiative, destroyed self-worth. You have kids out there shooting each other. It's not just white kids. Black kids shoot each other but all the time. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. You said address the black culture. No, address the black Let culture. Let ma'am. The perpetual chip I on your shoulder. I didn't interrupt you. Blame Whitey. Show some manners. I didn't interrupt God. you. Show some respect. Don't tell me a damn thing about the black culture and kids in school when it's white boys that go in school and murder all kind of innocent I'll people. I'll tell you what. When Don't you go tell in, me when that. You go into the we inner need to city, study these fanatic white boys. When you go into the inner city and start teaching there, you let me know, and then you can have something to say about it. Ma'am, I went to inner city schools. I My taught there, have. and I taught there. And guess what? At the end of the day, there's wolves in sheep clothing every day teaching let in black schools. Let me tell you schools. something. How dare you say that to me? It's the truth when it comes to you. Please.